Tennessee lawmakers want to change the state constitution and give judges the discretion to deny bail for a longer list of violent crimes. Right now in the state constitution, we're limited based off the constitution saying that you can only deny bail, judges can use their discretion only to deny, deny bail for capital offenses. So you have a lot of time, and there's a lot of cases all across our state that you've seen, not just in Memphis, but all across the state, of someone who is out on bail, who is a violent criminal, who committed another violent crime shortly thereafter that took another victim. House Speaker Cameron Sexton says judges in the DA would also have to explain why they denied or accepted bail. But how will this help Memphis's crime crisis? We talk about crime in Memphis. We are looking at holistic strategies, which includes changing laws that are impacting who gets out and who's out on the streets. We want to make sure those that need to be off the streets are off the streets. District Attorney Steve Mulroy agrees with one caveat. As long as it is clear that judicial discretion is maintained, then I am supportive. But some don't see this as a solution to the gun problem in Memphis. The Republican supermajority in Tennessee coming here heralding themselves as, as beacons of hope in public safety is as uh, contradictory as possible. This is the same party that has legislated bills to authorize guns and trunks as well as permitless carry throughout the state. We need uh, safe storage laws, extreme risk protection laws, and we need to end permitless carry as we know it. I asked the House Speaker if gun legislation was part of the plan. We're going to take guns away from criminals, but I don't think we should take guns away from law-abiding citizens. We're not going to agree on everything. But we all agree that we need to break the cycle of violence. And we all agree that we want safer communities in Memphis and across this state. April Thompson, WREG News Channel 3.